Tom from Methyl Ethyl, can you tell me if you've ever had your tarot read before? Uh, once before, very unprofessionally. Okay, sure. Well, obviously the high professional standard of the way I do it will, will surpass that. Should I take a year off rock and roll yeah. and go backpacking around Peru? A rock and roll gap year? Yeah, a, a gap year from rock just to sort of find myself. I guess the cards will the tell. The cards will tell, exactly. And I mean, don't be scared of the answer because there's a lot of possibilities and, and interpretation here. So this represents where we are now and, and that's the Four of Cups. Cups is traditionally sort of the emotional suit. Four of Cups yeah. traditionally represents boredom and discontent. Mm. That's where we, you are now. You don't know if the rock and roll lifestyle is for you, maybe. I don't know if it's entertaining me anymore. The desire here is for the Ace of Wands. It represents new venture, a new way of life. It often is linked with pregnancy or birth. Okay. Um, well, I'm not pregnant. That you know of. Uh, let's consult what's going to help and harm us. So justice pretty much is what it says on the tin. Considering things carefully. And this suggests that what might help you here okay. is sort of balancing things and considering out. Maybe make a pros and cons list. Okay. of Peru and rock and roll. The thing that's going to hinder you is the Six of Swords. Swords is sort of like the more depressing suit. It's more like analytical and, and rational. Six of Swords is actually associated with, uh, with long journeys, oh. uh, particularly over water. I don't know if you can see this card here. On the boat, yeah. Yeah, the effort required. Getting there. Yeah, getting there. I mean, you can probably buy a plane flight now, but I imagine it's yeah. quite expensive to get to South America. But is, yeah, it's not about the, the journey, it's about how you get there. It's about the, not about the journey, it's about the destination. Yeah, okay. Or the other way, I forget which way it goes. And then we've got the King of Cups here, which I'll just refresh myself. Um, that represents usually a person and it's sort of, Cups is like the emotional one. It's very emotionally intelligent, in tune with their emotions, warm, caring, like a good talker, a good listener. Right. And, and that's gonna be the outcome here. So it seems like from what we've look, looked at here, you're a bit discontent. What might help you is like rational decisions, pros and cons. Mm -hmm. What might be a challenge here is the journey itself, um, you know, the distance or something like that. But the outcome and what we're looking at here um, or that might be your next step of action is to be a warm, thoughtful, caring, emotionally available and considerate guy. Maybe Peru would do that to me. Maybe I'll, I'd become a better person for it. Yeah, okay. How do you feel after having your tarot read like this? Yeah, I think I'm gonna book it tomorrow maybe and just get out of here. Sure, okay. Yeah. Um, you know, I, well the tarot says yes, so, so you gotta do it. Great.